Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. So, episode 1, we took France. Episode 2, we garrisoned France. And episode 3, who knows what's gonna happen. We allied ourselves with Poland. So, Poland's a member of the Axis. We are raiding the bejesus out of the English right now. And actually, I think we might... Do we have more? There's two subs. I mean, we could, we could send surface raiders out if we want. Oh, here we go. Something interesting. The Spanish Civil War. Civil war has erupted in Spain. Several generals seeking to overthrow the current government in Madrid have issued a pronouncement, I'm guessing. And a large portion of the Spanish armed forces have answered their call to arms. The right-wing nationalist faction has occupied much of Spain, including o the overseas territories. Loyalist forces and volunteers have assembled under the left-wing Republican government, determined to resist uh, the push... Uh, uh, that, that, that's how that's pronounced, right? Their last breath, whatever. Um, what does this mean for Spain? Nationalist Spain declared war. Oh, the Iberian region. Where, uh, there it is. Okay, so, this is Nationalist Spain, which is the one I like. Yes, because they are fascist. So, can I just straight up declare war? Well, let's, let's see something. Um, relations, offer military access, send, send volunteers. We need to be at peace to send volunteers, so that's not a thing. But we could justify a war against bad Spain, Republican Spain. Select between one and five states. Send. And, well, let's see what happens. We can't do anything on our own, but maybe we could, before this ends, we could justify a war with them, declare war, and see what happens. Netherlands join the Allies. Oh, now I'm at war with the Netherlands. Right? Dutch opinion, different world tension, we're a faction member. Well, I'm not at, no, I'm not at war with them yet. They haven't, they've joined the Allies, but didn't declare war on me. Huh. Interesting. What do we got over here? Oh, submarines. Um, why don't we send you over here? You're not doing anything yet. Netherlands join the France. Okay, there we go. So that's problematic for me. All right, this army. Uh, we we need you to. If you order draw with your standing orders, will be okay. That's fine. We need you to take care of this. So get up there, um, and just garrison that border. Garrisoning a open border is much more important to me than uh, occupying France. Ooh, industrial effort! Yay! That got me. Um, let's see, six factories, because two in Württemberg, Hanover, and Thuringen, and we're going to do industrial effort number two as well. Now, let's see, if we look at construction, we got 65 to work with now, so we're working all these at once. Um, how's the, in, uh, so Romania is failing here, so why don't we knock this down to one? Yeah, let's do that. Let's knock that down. Let's get another. All right, let's do that. Uh, those maxed out, maxed out. All right, max it out in these places. Civilian factories are good. Naval dockyards, military factories, air bases. Why don't we get some anti-aircraft guns set up in northern and southern France? Basically, just uh, get a little blanket of anti-aircraft guns set up. Um, in France here to protect this region because they're they're not bombing Germany. They're bombing France Whoa, these guys organization is just super low Are they under attack or are they attacking? Why is their organization so low? Oh, they, they all they all did the strategic redeployment thing. That's why all right, so uh, we could we could help with this though. Um, we have planes available, uh, so let's. I wonder how much of this region we can cover. Close air support. I'm gonna do it like this. Um, air support. Okay, go go. So they've got they got a lot of fighters. They got a lot of fighters up there, but that's okay. All I want to do is is garrison the border right now. And, and keep it contained. I mean, we sh it looks like we're good. We're good for that. 
God, I need more fighters. Our bombers are out there. So the Netherlands has turned into a war zone. They w Poland wants to send us 24 divisions. Holy Poles! Sure. Sure, Poles. Sure. We, well, we got we got two other armies doing things. And we're, we're wanting, we want the blue guys here. We want Nationalist Spain to win. So we'll see what happens there. I've seen Nationalist Spain win once, Republican Spain win like four times. Three times, four times, something like that. The Beno region or whatever, the Benlo region in northern France. Yeah, we pulled the fighters out of here. God, we need more fighters. Oh, Bubby was shot down. Our latest mission over the Beno, Benelo region has uh, was a great success for the German Air Force. In more than one respect, reports come from the Eric Bubby heroic deed managing to out with the... Wait. Shot down... Oh, I thought he was shot down. No. In one-on-one -on -one combat, he shot down a British pilot, Hubert Seymour, known as Fox. Bubby used himself as bait and lured Fox into a trap where the German uh, pilots were able to dive on Fox's squadron. Well, I guess it wasn't one-on-one. Bubby has received to outmaneuver the British aircraft and with a single burst sent Fox spiraling from the skies. He was a feared pilot with many German lives on his conscience. This is a great victory and shows that uh, when we rally behind great heroes, they perform great deeds. Now, I thought it gave me a list of of positives from that, but it doesn't look like it did much. Well, he's dead, though. He's not He's not there in our way. So this battle looks like it's going very poorly for the Germans, the second SS division. They must be out of organization. Ooh, support weapons. I mean, I feel like those numbers looked really good. Well, that defense... Okay, they're, they're not attacking me very well. What is this? Oh, armed, yes. Where's the, where are those 24 Polish divisions I'm getting? Ooh, ooh, research. Support weapons, I forgot about that. Uh, so support weapons, that's a little bit ahead. Uh, we can do... Eh, nothing really in there we need too much. Let's see. Good here. Uh, let's let's bring in some better artillery. Let's get that going. As long as we can contain them for now. I mean, our we're, we're not in a position. Ooh. Oh. And Bubby was shot down by dog. Squatted a bridge led, led by a famous dog. Focus on chasing down Bubby. Devastating loss for us all. So Bubby died. So he shot down Fox, and then dog shot down Bubby. Um, how is, how is this actually going here? We still got 140 fighters there. Mission of 50, 80, okay, that's not bad. I mean, we still, we still got all those bombers out there doing perfectly fine. So what's the, what's hurting our efficiency here? Rain, equipment reliability, and base, okay, that's fine. So it looks like we got them contained perfectly fine. Um, they took two provinces, but that's not a big deal. Um, we could bring these guys in to help. Um, East Prussia is no longer in, in danger. So we'll do this. Uh, and then we'll ship them over and add them to the front there. They have full supplies and everything, so we can we can ship them right to Hamburg. Oh, no, they can, they're just going to march right through. Okay, so we'll just do this. I forgot that they could just march right through Poland now. Interestingly enough, we got more Panzer divisions that are going to be added. If we wanted to, we can add some tanks in there. Animals are fighting. Cats are away, so hopefully that will solve that problem. All right, we look okay here now. Uh, organization's fine. I, I, I don't know why they always, always, always use... Well, it's not always. At sometimes they decide to use... Um, the strategic redeployment, sometimes they don't. No idea why. Uh, it doesn't look like the Dutch are going to be able to put up much of a fight. So we might be able to take them out pretty quickly and not have to worry about this. They definitely shot down some bombers. Alright, so where do those poles go? I don't see them anywhere. They must be on their way or something. 
Well, now the Poles are only gar basically only border garrisoning the the uh, Soviet border, which is fine by me. Why don't we give these guys um, a pretty basic attack order? Let's just tell them we want them to um, just loop straight across the Netherlands. All right, that'll take care of everything, and they'll prepare they'll prepare an assault. Let's see, uh, they're entrenched, and now they're yep, max fifty percent. There we go. Okay, so now. Uh, if I want to, I could go to war with Spain as well. And why don't we do this? Yeah, like that. And actually let them prepare an assault and see what happens. Um, I mean, it's uh, there's, there's, there's literally nobody over here as it is right now. And I don't know what this is going to mean for Spain, for nationalist Spain, but we shall see. see. Alright, yeah, we're gonna wait for the full, the full effect here. And we're gonna wait for the full effect here as well. And if we wanted to, do I have any planes down here? I got fighters down here. Let's actually send them over here. I don't have any, I don't, I don't have any more planes. Well, I don't. Have, I do have enough to modify the government again. Um, so why don't we bring in a uh, an aircraft manufacturer? Let's see. Messerschmitt would give me agility and speed for fighters and carrier fighters, close air support, uh, heavy fighter reliability, tactical bomber reliability, and strategic bombers, and naval. So I think we're just going to go straight up with Messerschmitt. This is getting mighty interesting mighty fast. So these guys are definitely going to have their battle plan maxed out quickly. Ooh, dispersed industry. Let's go for uh, the second dispersed industry right here. That should give us more efficiency to work with, I think. Oh, uh, basic machine. I mean, we need the better machine tools, I think. All right, you should be almost ready for this attack. 45%. Oh, we're paused. 49% and 50%. Okay, now we're going to launch this assault. Oof! We got all the bombers up here, too. So this should be a pretty easy victory for us. Oh, and Italy just took Ethiopia. Oh, boy. Yeah, this shouldn't be too problematic. We just put this on speed three and watch it, basically. Skies over the Netherlands are absolutely flooded with planes from multiple states. Belgium has not decided whether or not they want to oppose me. Although, at this point, I would imagine that they would be like, eh, we're cool. Oh, oh pause, 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 pause. Mechanical computing machine. And, um... I'm gonna go with construction too, cause I want that, I want that faster construction. And how are we doing down here? All right, that's ready. So what we're going to do is, Republic in Spain, declare war, conquer. Hundred percent world tension. And you're going to go across the border, do what you need to do. It's called Republic in Spain. Alright, that's fine. Those are now... That has been merged with the French-German War. The German-Spanish War... Okay. So, um, those wars basically just got merged together into one big war. If I want to, I can create another theater for these guys, too. That will make, make it a little easier to uh, see what's going on. Alright, yeah, this is going well. That was, a, that, was, that was pretty overwhelming force for what was going on here, I think. All right, let's see. You, do I want to add? Why don't we add? Yeah, why don't we add you to this? Um, bring him down here, and then go back to German Theater One. There we go. I was about to say, why isn't it clicking? It's just lagging behind a little bit. Yeah, this is going well. Actually, might turn off the day-night cycle. The day-night cycle tends to uh, eat up a lot of computing power. 
National of Spain wants to join the Axis, that's fine. Uh, Japan wants to send two divi divisions to help out, that's fine. And we are just going to crawl across the border here. I would imagine the German troops are going to be relatively superior to the Spanish at this point, And we should be able to overrun them pretty simply. I mean, Nationalist Spain is getting its ass kicked right now. Alright, in transfer. And these guys, they're going to be added to um, this army as well. Because we need them down there more than anything else. Six new divisions. I mean, they're going to be pretty useless when they get there, but they're fine for now. German divisions are taking everybody out here. Everybody's joining in. All these wars are getting merged together. Uh, we got our industrial effort down there. We might have enough troops in the field to do the Anschluss. We do. So we are going to take Austria as well. Although if they oppose me, I'm not really going to have a lot of people... Uh, well, these guys will be available if I need to take out Austria by force. 97%. 98%. We can actually watch this battle. Oh, there we go. I'm hoping, uh, let's send you guys over this way, please. Netherlands has capitulated. Adolf Hitler has announced that the cowardly Dutch nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming uh, presence of German forces throughout their country. The Dutch government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated. The German Reich is now in control of their home area. The, the war against what remains of the Allies continues. Elsewhere, there's a great victory for the Axis. Great news! Great news. More factories, too. Um, oh, good. Not, not insignificant, either. So let's. Well, we got more dockyards. We could we could start building something. Blucher class heavy cruisers. We could always we could use more heavy cruisers. I mean, it's going to take a long time because they're low on the the production queue, but that's okay. And what else do we have? We have more military factories. So what do we what are we desperately in need of? More artillery. Um, more tanks. More fighters. Yeah, just cr start cranking those fighters out. Lots, oof. Let's just dismiss those. Holy God. Um, let's see, Not we're, we're gonna leave Austria out of it, but Lithuania, invite to faction. That's Estonia, I think, yeah, Estonia. Invite to faction. Is that that's Latvia invite to faction who else was on there Yugoslavia Yugoslavia we're not going to uh, we're gonna see if we can gobble them up for ourselves Wow the Axis powers have uh, taken hold taken hold indeed all right so you guys have nothing to do right now so for now, what I think, because we don't have anything to do with these guys, so for now, we're going to go back to what we, we were doing before and garrison France. Resistance map mode, yeah. So, I wish I could just take garrison France. Uh, do, 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 do. So, you are going to garrison. We're going to have to go through and just start clicking everything. Not there. That's what we're doing. 24 divisions seems uh, seems like enough. Iberian region. Um, so now these planes are available for elsewhere. So why don't we take our just our our planes and transport them over here? Um, the fighters. Oh, he's dead. So sad. Little coffin. Little coffin. That's so sad. And what we're going to do is, um, Iberian region, we're going to send the tactical bombers and the close air support in. Alright, so. Not going to have any fighter support, but we've got bombers over there. I mean, this seems to be going decently so far. And we can always send more troops over there if we want to. Although we don't have a ton of people coming in at the moment. 
We could always we could always have this guy join in. Join into this attack. Could it could he Oh that just merged them together, didn't it? Well that's okay. We'll just do that. We'll just send everybody down there for now. And just focus on Spain, because that's that's the conflict. No. You guys You guys just focus on your own shit. And we'll focus on what's going on here. So we do have um Looks like we got air superiority. Enemy has air superiority, you know? We don't. They must have planes over here somewhere. Never enough fighters, are there? They're in France. Well, we can, we can let them bomb France. We, though they, they can't even make it over there. So let's get these fighters over to uh, the Iberian region. Air superiority. There we go. Let's get air superiority here. Looks like we broke through along the coastline, or at least the uh, Nationalist Spain did. We might break these guys up later. Alright, coast of France is not defended in the slightest bit. Not in the slightest bit. If England really wanted to, they could just... Swim right on over. What do we got going here? Oh, sinking some transports. Good for us. Free dockyards. We must have completed those destroyers, I'm thinking. Oh, no, we must have just captured something. And free military factories, too. We got one of them. Put some more heavy tanks. Let's get them, let's get them building some heavy tanks. And we'll start... Actually, we got... Look at all that experience. Our air experience is through the roof right now. And we got army experience, too. What we could do if we wanted to is go to our panzer divisions, edit these up, and let's say, let's let's add in... This is just a regular panzer division. Uh, let's add in a heavy tank. A unit of heavy tanks. And if we wanted to, um... Well, we don't have any anti-air guns being produced. Well, that... We can add it in over here, can't we? So let's let, let's remove that one. Add that in over here. Because that means well, the combat width went up a little bit. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Alright, let's say that. That barely cost me anything. Uh, what do I... Do I have anything in, like, s good supply of? No. But then again, we're only one year into the game. And we've been... We've seen heavy combat. So, equipment loss. I mean, we're doing fine in Spain right now. What I'm hoping is that nationalist Spain will actually take care of, take over everything. I don't actually want it myself. I actually just saw some Russian tanks in there, I think. That looks like Russian tanks to me. Yeah, we, we've, we, we've pushed them out. We're doing good. Uh, Austria is coming. We're working on that. At least we're garrisoning the coast with France. Modify our government again. Still got a million men in reserve, so we're fine there. Let's pause it. Materials. Let's go to tank. Uh, let's see. Armor. And armor and attack. Max speed and reliability. Or reliability and soft attack. Uh, let's go speed and reliability. So that was, what is that, Henschel and Sons? Henschel. Yeah, we seem to be doing very well everywhere in Spain. Making a lot of progress. I think Nationalist Spain was on the verge of collapse when we attacked. Oh, and uh, a research. Oh, we're pretty good here. Uh, we can grab... Yeah, let's grab this. Production efficiency cap 10%. Again, we're, we're focusing in on our, our production and stuff right now. Like I would normally, normally early game, but I think we're pretty far away from actually having to do anything crazy suffering from attrition over here well a lot of it because we're in the mountains but we're gonna push through that pretty quick this is awesome this is a very unexpected game didn't expect it to go this way at all oh oh, oh, oh. you know what we should do before I forget before I forget 
Uh, we got we, we got all these these planes going. All these fighters are being produced, um, and we got all this air experience. Why don't we create a variant of the 109? Because we have 375 experience, and fighters are something that's very important to us. We've been we, we've been spread thin, so why don't we? Let's see, weapon. If we go plus one everywhere, that would give us more range, more speed, more attack, and slightly less reliability. So, uh, two there, three there, three reliability, and one everywhere else. Um, that's two, two, five. We still have more. Make them even more. Wow. We can make this thing super reliable. That That's pretty good. What are we at? 340? Can we go another one? No. So that's good. We're going to have reliability, range, weapon, and engine. Good. So we're going to save this. That is the BF109A. And we are going to switch this production line over to the A model, uh, which is not going to hurt our efficiency nearly as much as I expected. Wow. Pretty good. <laughs> that's such a superior plane, too. It's a very superior plane. Uh, we got some Ruski tanks in here, it looks like. But we're only attacking on with one, two, two, two divisions now. Three divisions. Okay, there we go. Alright, now that we're dogpiling in, we're good. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that if we take their capital and just a few VPs, that they will capitulate. Let's see. Um, <laughs> world tension, 100%. Well, 98.6%. The French-German War. The French Civil War. So the French-German War, Nationalist Spain. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's my side. We're looking for France, Republican Spain. 42% towards capitulation, 66% control, 20%. And we'll capitulate when it has 20% or less. So they have a high unity. I mean, they've lost 35,000 men so far. I've only lost 13,000 men in, 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 in the war so far. And what we're going to, basically what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to uh, get to this line and then um, we're going to reform another attack plan. He's, he's got 42 divisions under him. This is Von Klug. And his, he's got a bonus to combat with, which is great. Ooh, who are you and what are you doing? Where, where did those guys come? What, what was that? Oh. Republican Spain has capitulated. So, well, I still I still see people. What's going on here? They still have little bits. Let's just let's take out the bits. And let's send these guys down here. So this is nationalist Spain, which is a part of the Axis. But the what I everything else went to me. Um, I think if I want, I could give it back to them, but I don't necessarily know if I want to. Uh, having it under my own control seems like a good idea. Although there might be resistance. There's a little bit. Um, let's see. Ask for control, give control of state. So if I want to, I can give them control of Spain. Which is actually, I think I think I might do that. So it's going to be this one, this one. Oh. Cancel. Well, why, why did that turn red all of a sudden? Give control of state. I don't actually want that. I, I wanted them as an ally. So we're going to send that over to them. So did that not give them... Oh, no, that's that's fine. There we go. So now, now they control that. And we're going to see if we can assault Gibraltar. Ah, this is awesome. So national of Spain... Albania and Bulgaria want to join in. Let's invite Bulgaria. But we'll leave Al Albania. Because I think they're going to get gobbled up. God damn it. God damn it. That is that is awesome. France has fallen. The Netherlands has fallen. Uh, Republican Spain fell. So nationalist Spain is now my ally. Which I love because they're going to be 
helping me out a ton. Gibraltar's gone. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Okay, so, um, now, let's, what do we want to do here? Let's split this in half. And, uh, what do we want to, how do we want to do this? How do I want to do this? Well, let's do, let's do this. Let's select all and just move them to Paris. And, uh, we'll figure out what to do with these guys from there. That's what we'll do. We'll figure out. We'll figure it out from there. Oh, and there we go. Uh, Anschluss of Austria. Repeated uprisings in Austria clearly show that the people there long to be united with the Reich. Maybe not time to take action and allow the will of the people to be made manifest. How can anyone say Austria is not German? Beep. Welcome to the Reich. After a successful coup d'état by the local Nazi party in Vienna, Vienna. Uh, German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the country. No fighting has been reported. German soldiers were greeted by cheering crowds in the cities. In a speech before a massive crowd at the Heldenplatz in v Vienna, uh, Hitler announced the Anschluss of Austria, annexing the country into Germany. The oldest eastern province of the German people shall be, from this point on, the newest uh, bastion of the German Reich. Welcome to the Reich. Anschluss is complete. Actually gave us one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine new divisions to work with. So, uh, we need a new focus here. anti comet turn pack, what is this gonna do? <laughs> we just say, fuck communism right off the bat. So a lot of people, hmm. All right, all right, all right. We're not gonna do the demand Eastern claims because Memel's, uh, Memel's part of Lithuania. Lithuania is our friends. We are going to demand Slovenia, though. We're going to do that. And we have enough political power. Uh, why don't we get a ship designer? And we're gonna, clearly going to do a raiding fleet, uh, which is going to make our submarines sub-visibility down, subsurface visibility um, down, and max speed up. So we're going to grab Balman Voss there. Military factories are free. Uh, we got one from Austria. And let's put them on fighter. Eh, well, fighters work pretty close to what we need now. Let's get bombers. Let's see, uh, sank a bunch of Commonwealth ships. That's okay. Oh, and we have overrun. Okay, everybody. The German Reich continues to expand. The Anschluss of Austria has been completed. Nationalist Spain has been puppeted. Well, they're not a puppet. Um, I just kind of prop them up and help them in their civil war so uh that's that folks if you have enjoyed this please just drop me a like leave me those comments right down below and if you are interested in more benjamin magnus plays hearts of iron 4 just subscribe to this channel and i will see you next time